Hey everyone! In today's video, I am diving into a topic that's crucial for many of us who use WhatsApp for our daily communication. Is WhatsApp actually safe for sending private photos? Let's explain that today. Just watch this video till the end. But before we dive into the topic, please don't forget to like this video, subscribe to this channel, and hit that notification bell icon for more tutorials and tips videos. Now, let's talk about the security features that WhatsApp has. One of the standout elements is its use of end-to-end -end encryption. This means that your messages and private photos are locked on your device and can only be decoded by the recipient. It's like having a private conversation in a locked room where only you and the person you're chatting with have the key. Then what about privacy settings? It's not just about encryption. WhatsApp offers robust privacy settings. You can control who sees your profile photo, your last seen status, and other details. Taking advantage of these settings adds an extra layer of control over your privacy. Now, while WhatsApp provides a secure environment, your responsibility as a user is crucial. Ensure your device is secured with a passcode or biometric authentication. Keep your WhatsApp app updated to benefit from the latest security enhancements. Let's talk about cloud storage. If you or the recipient has automatic backup to cloud storage enabled, your encrypted photos may reside there. Also, remember that the security of the shared photos relies on the recipient's device security measures. So, is WhatsApp safe for sending private photos? In essence, yes, thanks to its end-to-end -end encryption and privacy features. However, user awareness and responsibility play a pivotal role. Be mindful of how you share and who you share with. Sending private photos is a personal choice. But remember, once they're out there, they're like a rogue tweet, impossible to truly control. So, think twice before hitting that send button. So, limit sharing private photos to trusted contacts, avoid public sharing in large groups, and always verify the identity of the person you're communicating with. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more helpful tutorials and tips videos, and share your thoughts in the comments below.